Hi. All right, today we're making a really big canvas. Um, it is actually a 60 by 48. And I've got my colors here that I'm trying to mix to be these colors with soft gold, silver, Haynes Gray. Um, and just a mixture of the light and the dark and the light and the dark like that. Um, and then I'm gonna do a flip cup. I'm either gonna do four or five, but I'm gonna angle it down. So this will be the 60 and this will be the 48. Um, and so that's my plan. So right now I'm just gonna mix um, and then I'll show a I'll show the video of the um, actual painting. That'll be at the beginning and then this will be at the end of the video. So, okay. Need a little iced tea to begin with. Alright, the first one I'm going to create is a, let's start with a darker blue, so I'm going to use probably like a metallic black with it, no, no, here first. And this is a big canvas. Alexa, 60 times 40 divided by 28. Oh, I thought it was more than that. Alexa, 60 times 48 divided by 28. Divide that, Alexa, divide that by 28. 2,800 divided by 28 is 102.8571. 102. Thank you. So 100, so 102 to 103 ounces is what we have to come up with, which means I need to do, um, so this is 20, four ounces right there. So we need almost four and a half of these. So yeah, so that's what we're doing. A lot of paint. Alexa, volume two. So I kind of get the colors first, and then um, I work on the actual 
mixing of everything, the flow trawl and all that stuff. So. And last time I made dark blue, I put a lot too much black in it, so today I'm going to try to not do quite as much black to begin with, and then we can go from there. And I ran out of blue, the kind that I wanted to use, so I'm going to have to kind of, that's good. So I'm going to have to actually utilize other colors as well. So. I'm going to try to go with a little bit of the lighter blue. Lighter gray blue up in here. If I had plenty of that, I would just add white to it, but I don't. So, there's, yeah, that's not gonna be enough. Oh, shoot. I like to make black bed. That's right. And I reuse my sticks a lot of times, so I just let them dry on a Top of the dark. Yeah, see, I told you. Oh, that looks really good though. Look at how close that is. Hmm. So dark, medium, light. Hmm. We'll see. I don't like to do too many colors, but the last time I got really good luck, I had really good luck with a lot of the <clears throat> multi different color in it. And I, and I saw it because I did a flip cup more than I do when I do a dirty pour um, type of thing. So, all right, let's try this one again with less black. to really, I mean, everybody's different right now. I just go where I can get the paint at half off because I'm painting all the time now, um, every weekend. So I just go where I can get it half off. So I use Master, um, Master Touch. I use um, Liquitex Vega 6. Um, I use artist law. So, you know, whatever is on sale for me, that's what I get. And I haven't really used much of the thicker body um, for fluid art. You know, I suppose if I was painting, I nice painting, I would probably tend to do more of that. So. I'll 
I'll just move all this over here. Alexa, Caleb. Alexa, the bus. No. Oh, Al Alexa, the bus. Alexa, the radio station, the bus. Yes. These cups are, if you want to know, are 10 ounces. So I've maybe made three in there, three in there for now. Of just paint. This isn't, um, I'm not working in my flow trawl yet. I'm just creating the colors right now that I want. And this is going to be a dark one. box is all that, that sucker costs so um, it's 
nice just to have it as you're getting started with mixing your own different colors instead of having to go out and buy a bunch of different colors. Well, you can go and get the ones that are on sale. metallic black because it has kind of a shimmer to it plus it adds a little bit of grayness instead of just going completely black to the color this makes it pop just maybe a little bit more and this is artist loft metallic but I also have um, liquid basic iridescent graphite and then Mars black which is not quite black either. So I can use both of those two as well if I need to. I'm gonna use this one up. And I'm not using black in this painting. It'll be um, Haynes Gray because I love Haynes Gray. Better than, has that blue What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do like a medium green and a darker green, but they're about the same color right now, so. Uh, so I'll probably end up, when I actually put it in, when I put the flow troll in, I'll probably end up uh, mixing these two together and then putting one with a little bit of white or something, so. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna do is I wanna do a green blue and I'll use my metallic blue um, and then some of this and then maybe a little bit of black to give it kind of that gray and see how it's got kind of that grayer kind of look to it. So, so that's kind of what I'm gonna do next. My full draw out of the way. These cups off to the side. Normally, I'd be using cups like this, but this is the only one I have left right now. My husband's actually going to the grocery store, um, and he'll get me some more of these. But so that's why I'm using my little ones for now. It is what it is. You gotta use what you gotta use, what you have. So, okay. Now 
It's just me, Bailey. Bailey. That's my dog. Anytime she hears uh, somebody knock or doorbell, she does this boof thing. So I used to teach group fitness classes, uh, and when I taught a kickboxing class with bags and gloves, this was one of our, our favorite songs, and so my participants in my class knew that I would play this song at least once a week, Barracuda.
Alexa, volume four. All right, so I think I'm done with the color um, of blue and greens. This one. I guess I lied. This was the one of the colors that I used in the last one, so I better use it. That I used permanent black. Um, I decided not to use the Mars because it doesn't have iridescent in it. And if I'm not gonna do that, I might as well just use black. So I can use that another time. All right, well, so I got a couple blues, a darker blue, a medium blue, a darker green, a medium green, a darker, uh, blue green and a light medium blue green so that's kind of where I'm at so far so the next thing that I want to do is I want to take this gold and make it a soft gold so I will use gold pearl gold or pearl and then white and I will put a little bit of silver in here if I need to in order for it to uh, be more soft so
And for the lighter stuff, I tend to use brand new sticks. Uh, just what I do, right? And that's and this is actually pearl medium, so it's kind of made the uh, paint a little bit thinner because of that. It's still definitely gold, so a little bit of white. out of white so I had to get some white and black last night and paint's gray and the store I have here in town does not have the big paint's gray so I've got to I gotta start buying in bulk someplace so So I'm looking more, see how it's kind of getting more and more lighter, more of a pale gold. This whole painting has a gray um, tone to everything. So that's the reason why I put a little bit of silver in here. So. I don't know if that's enough gold, but if it's not, I'll, I'll whip up some more. So. I think that's all my mixing today uh, of mixing colors. Um, so I'll mix the actual um, flow trawl here with the paint here in just a little bit. It'll look almost identical. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Alexa, Caleb.
That's better. I don't know if you'll ever see the differences in these two in the painting or not, but I did it anyway. Okay, so there you go. The blues. That's actually a lot more bluer than gray. That's got more gray in it, I like that. And then the green blues. So those are the colors that I just got done mixing. I'll probably uh, do a little bit more blue, but again, like I said, I don't want much blue in this. I want more green because I also have the Payne's gray, which has a blue tint to it. So I don't want that any more blue than, and most of my stuff is kind of a gray with blue, with a blue hints, but mostly green um, accents. So, so thanks for watching and we'll get going on mixing other stuff. Okay, so I just filtered out my Floetrol uh, because as you can see, there's junk that gets in there. So then what I also do, um, because it looks like this has actually got um, some mixture problems, I'm gonna redo it again when I add into this cup. So, I'm gonna do Payne's Gray now. Uh, or, we're gonna need a lot of Payne's Gray. So, I'm trying to get uh, almost two cups of this. Two, two of this filled. So, what I do is I start with the color. And this one, as you can see, I got cleared down there. Um, usually I don't get quite as much, but I know I'm gonna need a lot of this. So, so I did that, and I don't add water yet. I always add my Floetrol first. And the reason why I do that is because then it mixes better with the paint. And it gets smooth. Instead of having those lumps that you see sometimes on your paintings where you don't mix your color enough. So, and as you can see, it's still kind of um, quite thick. So I'll be adding more flow trawl because I did have quite a bit at the bottom. have this ready to go to pour in here so I think I have too much paint in this one so I'm gonna pour that in there all this glow troll there we go And when I mix a lot, I use two paint, two cups, and then I put them together. So that way I get it completely stirred. And then I'll switch half of it back. And then I'll work with the water. Okay. And so then I have my funnel here ready to go into my empty jug of Floetrol. So. So what I really want to do is I want to get it so that it's running off my stick and making a small mound. Right now it's making a pretty thick, pretty big mound right now. So, and I don't know if you can see that or not. You might be able to see it with a lighter paint, but so I know I'm going to need 
um, a little bit of water. So I just start with just a little bit. And then I mix it because the paint and the control will thicken the water. It'll seem like it's thin, but then it thickens up as you stir. So then, as I need more water, I use my dropper to help um, give me just the correct amount. I saw somebody on a video. Oh, this is good. Uh, I saw somebody on the video the other day using a drill. I'm like, I've got to figure that out. You know, how to use one of these sticks and a drill at the same time. So, all right. So if you can see it, I'm not sure if you can, but that's about the consistency that I'm looking for. So I'm going to pour that in there. And then this one was a used cup, so I don't want to stir in here because then it'll keep all, it, it'll flake all that paint off of there. So I just want to pour this back in here. <clears throat> Alexa, volume three. You may even see once the paint is set, it'll thicken up a little bit more, and so you'll need to just check your consistency before you actually paint. All right, so that's good. Okay, I'm gonna pour this in here again. And I'm gonna pretty much make a whole bottle full of paint gray. So, I'll be back in just a moment. Those need to see all of this. Uh, loosen up. This is a little thinner paint um, than the paints that I have been mixing so far. So, <clears throat> so we'll start with about that much. So it's one to about one and a half paint. So paint is one, and then control is about one and a half. And depending on how it looks, I may add more paint if it's not shiny enough. You know, the metallic enough, if you will. Not too bad. And of course, I ran out of big cups, so that's why I'm making two smaller cups. <laughs> Alexa, 80s. Yes. Alexa, play 80s. She must not have heard me say yes. It still looks pretty good metallic. Sometimes you do one to one with metallics. Or sometimes I do, I shouldn't say you. Sometimes silver can start looking muddy and gray if you're not careful. I don't think I added too much water, but that's okay. Maybe 
not. See how I say that? And then... Nope, I didn't. Good deal. <clears throat> I almost think that if I need four of these, I need four of these for silver. I got plenty of the small cups, so. Get some more cups. Get rid of some of this paint. So you kind of get the picture for the silver. I'm going to be back with these later on. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I am uh, thinning these out. So, so far, I've done two and silver. That's all in there, ready to go. And then, of course, in my paint spray is all in my football bottle. So, that's all thinned out ready to go, too. So, so how I do these, uh, since I've already kind of mixed my colors in them, um, I just grab another one of these and I half the amount. So I got that. Alright, then I put my flow troll in. One and a half to one part. One and a half flow troll. And at the same time, um, sorry, I got something on my face. I got an itch. <laughs> I think I got some floor troll on my face. Anyway, that's what happens to painters, painters. So then I just start mixing it with the floor troll first. Get it kind of smooth as best you can. Because once you start adding water, it's kind of hard to get those lumps out of there. Turning it, turning it, keep stirring it. So it's really thick, right? That's one of them. So now I've got this next one. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get two of these 
eight ounces of each of the dark medium uh, of the colors. Four golds, four silvers, four Payne's grays, and uh, probably more than just four whites, because I'm gonna put more white in this batch that I did last time. So I've got my water here, and I'm gonna pour a little bit in both, not a lot, just enough to get that started. <clears throat> better to put less in than more, um, although if you do put more, you just need to put a little bit more flow draw in, or paint to thicken it up. Yeah, this is still really thick, um, but I'm going to go ahead and get this one going, because then I'll go back and forth between the two. I'll... done this a while you're gonna start feeling as it starts turning uh, in your cup the consistency if it seems better or needs more water oh I saw a clump so just stir a little bit more there saw it in that well it went again so I do like these because you can accidentally tilt too much water into your cups. I've done it. It's still too thick. It's leaving a pretty big mound. I want a thinner mound. Smaller mound, I should say. Somebody says it's like warm honey, which I can see that, but warm honey for you, warm honey for me, might be two different consistencies, right? So, as you can see, this is a pretty good close to that candle that I was trying to get to. There, that's good. So. That's the consistency I'm looking for. All right, I'm gonna do the other ones. We'll be back. Okay, hi. Um, so, they're all mixed. Payne's gray, Payne's gray and white to make kind of a little bit more of a gray blue. 
gray blue, um, dark gray blue. Um, I think this is the darker and that's the medium, but really they kind of are flowing together, so it doesn't matter. That's the darker green. Um, that's the lighter. These are the blue, green, silver, white, and gold.